For millennia, history has placed human advancement on a neat timeline. But what if that timeline is wrong? This question isn't just rhetoric, but a genuine query sparked by a recent archaeological discovery. Imagine the surprise when archaeologists unearthed a collection of arrowheads, not ordinary ones, but intricately crafted pieces that predate the established timeline of human technological development. These aren't the simple, crude tools we'd expect from that era. No, they exhibit a level of craftsmanship and sophistication that challenges what we thought early humans were capable of. This discovery isn't just about redefining a timeline, it's about rewriting the narrative of our past, a narrative that now suggests a more sophisticated and innovative past. Traditionally, the development of complex tools is associated with later periods like the Clovis culture in North America, dated around 13,000 years ago. This period marked a significant leap forward in human innovation and adaptability. The Clovis people fashioned their tools with a remarkable level of precision and complexity. Their arrowheads, known as Clovis points, were finely fluted, designed for hunting large prey. These finely crafted points showcased not just the technological prowess of the Clovis people, but also their understanding of the world around them, their prey, and the materials at their disposal. Prior to the Clovis period, the tools used by early humans were thought to be far simpler. The narrative painted a picture of a society that was still finding its footing, grappling with the harsh realities of survival, and gradually learning to manipulate the world around them through the creation of crude tools. These tools, while functional, lack the finesse and sophistication of the later Clovis points. This traditional timeline, with its clear progression from simple to complex tools, has long been ingrained in our understanding of early human history. It suggested a linear trajectory of technological development, mirroring our own modern narrative of continual progress and advancement. Before Clovis, the narrative suggested a period of cruder implements, reflecting a less developed society. The newly unearthed points, however, shatter this paradigm. Predating the Clovis culture by a substantial margin, these arrowheads hint at a history far richer than we previously envisioned. They are not the crude, simplistic tools we might expect of an early society, but intricate works of craftsmanship, belying an understanding of materials and techniques that we once believed were beyond their reach. Dating back to an era almost unimaginable in its remoteness, the craftsmanship of these arrowheads is nothing short of extraordinary. Each flake removed from the stone, each notch carved into its surface, is a testament to the skill and precision of its maker. The flaking patterns are intricate, the symmetry near perfect. These are not the products of chance or trial and error, but of careful, deliberate design. Moreover, these arrowheads reveal a level of technological innovation that fundamentally alters our understanding of early human societies. They were not merely surviving in their world, but actively shaping it, using their knowledge and skills to craft tools that were not just functional, but efficient and effective. And what does this say about the people who made them? It speaks to a society in which knowledge was valued and skills were honed. A society that was not just living day to day, but planning for the future, innovating, and adapting. A society that was, in its own way, as sophisticated and dynamic as our own. The level of flaking on these points requires a deep understanding of stone properties and precise tool control. It's incredibly sophisticated. What does this discovery mean for our understanding of early humans? This question is not just academic curiosity, it echoes through our understanding of ourselves. This discovery of ancient arrowheads crafted with intricate detail, forces us to reconsider our previous assumptions about early humans. We've often imagined our ancestors as simple beings, struggling to survive, their lives dictated by the necessities of the moment. Yet, the craftsmanship exhibited in these arrowheads tells a different story. It suggests a level of cognitive ability that goes beyond mere survival. It speaks of planning, of understanding the properties of different materials, of the ability to envision a tool and then bring that vision to life with remarkable precision. Moreover, the creation of such sophisticated tools could not have been a solitary endeavor. It would have required a level of social organization and cooperation that we hadn't previously associated with these early societies. It suggests that these early humans were capable of sharing knowledge, of teaching, and of learning from each other. This discovery challenges the traditional linear view of human advancement. It suggests that our ancestors were not merely adapting to their environments, but actively shaping them. 
It hints at a past where early humans were not just surviving but innovating, long before we thought possible. And so, we must rethink our past. We must acknowledge that early humans may have been more resourceful and ingenious than we credit them for. This discovery has far-reaching implications beyond prehistoric hunting practices. By challenging our assumptions, it introduces a ripple effect that extends into various aspects of our understanding of early human history. Consider early human cognition. The intricate craftsmanship of these arrowheads suggests a level of cognitive ability far beyond what we previously attributed to these ancient societies. The detailed planning, problem solving, and possibly even knowledge sharing required to create such tools hints at a complex mind at work. Then there's social organization. The production of such sophisticated tools likely involved some form of social structure or division of labor. This discovery could provide fresh insights into how these early societies functioned and interacted, leading us to reassess our theories on early human social structures. Finally, we must consider how this discovery affects our understanding of technological evolution. It disrupts the linear narrative we've long held, suggesting a more dynamic and varied progression of technological advancement. And so, the ripples continue to spread. Perhaps language development or symbolic thinking emerged earlier than we thought. A single discovery can rewrite entire chapters of history. The recent unearthing of these ancient arrowheads is an invitation to re-evaluate our understanding of early human societies. It nudges us to acknowledge the possibility of a more sophisticated past, where our ancestors were not just mere survivors but innovators and craftsmen. These arrowheads, older yet more intricate than anything we've seen before, shatter the conventional timeline of human advancement. They prompt us to question the established narrative to consider that our ancestors thousands of years ago were capable of complex problem solving, planning and possibly even knowledge sharing. Not only does this discovery challenge our perception of early human toolmaking abilities, but it also encourages us to rethink our assumptions about their cognitive capabilities, their social structures and the evolution of technology. It opens up a realm of questions about other aspects of early human history. Could language development or symbolic thinking have emerged earlier than we believed? As we continue to explore these questions, the ripple effects of this discovery will resonate across various fields of study, from archaeology and anthropology to linguistics and cognitive science. It's a reminder that history is not set in stone, but a vibrant tapestry constantly being woven and rewoven with each new find. As we continue to dig deeper into our past, who knows what other surprises await us.